how to create basic hierarchy level of your users in your HMI project. We have some hierarchy of the users. We create six users where first will be administrator, second will be supervisor, third will be maintenance, and then users operator 1, operator 2, and operator 3. Administrator, administrator will be in the group number 4, supervisor will be in group number 3, maintenance will be in group number 2, and operators in group number 1. Okay, first we create some screen on which we insert the user view. By this user view, you can administrate your users. Then we create two buttons, one for logging the user into the HMI and second for the logout the user. Okay, this one will be log in and this one log out. For the login button we create event where on the release we show logon dialog and when you click on the logout button then you log out, log off the user. Okay. And also we insert the window where we see which operator is logged in the HMI. For this, we create the tech username of the data type with string this will be internal tag and also <coughs> when the user login we want to know which user is locked for this we use scheduled tasks okay we create new task user for example with name user and the trigger of this tag will be user change. When some user change in your HMI runtime, then this then this task call the function get username. And this username of the locked user we save to the username tag okay we save this and here we show the username which is logged in okay now we create some basic window for this example and now we can create the users and the groups which we see on this picture okay first we want the administrator okay administrator is default created we just change the password Okay, then we create supervisor. Also change the password. Then maintenance.
and three operators. And the operator number three. Okay. Now we have the users, and now it's time to create the groups. How you see on this picture, we have four group. Administrator have the biggest number of the group, then supervisor have number three maintenance have number two and all operators on the bottom level have number one okay we go back to the user administrations and go to the user groups okay as as the group with the biggest number we have administrator group which have user administration rights. Then second group we create for example for supervisor group number three. For example the name supervisor with number three. Then the group with name, for example, maintenance, with number two. And at least we create, for example, group with num with name, users. And we display name use for example operators okay here we maintenance okay now the user administration right we use for administration group then for supervisor group also we use it for maintenance group but we don't use it for the users, for the operators. Now, administration, go to the group, administration group, okay, supervisor, go to supervisor group, maintenance, go to the maintenance group, and operators, go to the users group. Okay, and now, how you can see, for example, we go to the runtime, okay, now for example, we log in as the administrator, Now you can see, administrator can operate all users which are created on the runtime. For example, I can change the password of the operator free user. Now I try login as a supervisor. Bad password, sorry. Okay. But here, how you can see, supervisor also can change the password of the administrator. 
for someone is good but we want to have some hierarchy level of the users where how you can see on this picture only administrator can change the password and the user group of the all users which are on the lower hierarchy level than administrator and then supervisor can change passwords and uh, user groups for all users on the lower hierarchy level but he can't change the password of the administrator and same for the maintenance maintenance we want to have the rights for changing the password and group for the operators but no changing the password of the supervisor and administration for this you want to go to the runtime settings sorry to the runtime settings of your HMI project go to the user administration option and here in the hierarchy level window click on the group specific right for user administration checkbox and here wait you can see specifies activation of the group specific rights in the user administration administrators manage only these users whose group number is less than or equal to the to that of the administrator okay we check this checkbox save this and when we go back to the user administration window you can see all groups all users which are in the group administrator group can manage the users which are part of the groups which have lower number than administration group same supervisor is the group number three and he can manage the groups which have less number than supervisor group this means maintenance and users but supervisor can manage the administration group because 3 is lower than 4 ok now we can try it in the runtime ok again we go we log in as the administrator and we can manage the passwords of all users how you can see okay and now we log in as a supervisor and we will see if we can manage the administrator user okay log in as a supervisor and now how you can see supervisor which are part which is part of the supervisor group have no rights for the manage the administration user the administrator user which which is part of the administration group but he can manage the passwords ATC and the group of the for example maintenance operators okay and now we try to log in as uh, maintenance and how you can see maintenance only can change himself and also the operators passwords and groups let's 
OK. And at least we try to log in as operator. how you can see he can change only his password but not group only password this because he don't have this user is in the group which don't have the user administration rights this means he can change only password of the user which are which is locked in. So this is all for this video where we shown how to create basic hierarchy levels of the users in your HMI project. Thank you for watching and goodbye.